Welcome to my channel, The Purple Poncho. I'm Carolyn, and today I'm going to show you how to turn the pinwheel flower into a square. I show you how to make the pinwheel flower in another video. And this video, we're going to concentrate strictly on turning it into this 12 inch square with beautiful texture and very fun stitching. For more granny square patterns, go to thepurpleponcho.com. Thank you for being here and let's get crocheting. Today I'll be showing you how to turn this beautiful flower into a square. We're using size J crochet hook, 6 millimeter. We'll need a yarn needle and some scissors. The yarn I'll be using is Red Heart with Love. This color is called Blushing Peach. And to begin, we're going to start by making an outer petal. And we start on the wrong side of our work. So I'm going to grab my yarn, make a slip knot, and we're going to start with a front post slip stitch. We're going to be working into the double crochets of our flower here on the back side. So be sure and have your flower arranged the way you would like it because this is going to lock it in, you know, in the shape that it's in now. Because once we start crocheting around the flower, it's not going to be moving around as much. Okay, so just start in any petal, doesn't matter which one. And we're going to count up three stitches. I'm looking at the orange here, the double crochets. So here's one, two, three. Here's our fourth stitch, and we're going to insert our hook front to back, and then back to front. And we're just working around that stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through. So that is a front post slip stitch. Chain four. We're going to skip the next three, we're on the same petal, skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, going into the fourth, front to back, and back to front, and slip stitch there. So each petal will have two front post slip stitches on it, and one chain four. So we're going to chain four again, and now skip over to the next petal. Find your first three stitches. This one's a little bit further down, so I'm just going to go with the first three completely visible stitches, and go into that fourth one, front to back, and back to front, yarn over and slip stitch, chain four, skip three, and front post slip stitch in the next. So here's our second petal. So here's our first petal, here's our second petal. Now I'm not coming all the way down around the post of the actual double crochet itself. I'm just staying up more towards the top of the stitch. And then if you look at the front, you can barely see a little, little bit of color there. It doesn't matter if it shows, either way is fine if it shows or it doesn't show. It's probably not going to show that much because once you, once you have it all done, it'll just kind of pull to the back. So again, I'll do it one more time. Chain four, skip over to my next uh, petal. One, two, three, four. Maybe that's a little bit too far over. I think I will go back down. So one, two, three. Just kind of eye it so that uh, it's kind of centered across your petal. And chain four skip three and go into the next and front post slip stitch. Okay, 
So you're going to have 16 chain fours all the way around. So I'll see you back over here. Finishing my round, I'm going to slip stitch into that beginning stitch. So that is round one, and we have 16 chain four spaces going all the way around our flower. So for round two, we're going to continue with the same color, chain one, and now we're going to turn. So now right side is facing, and we're going to continue with right side facing for the rest of our square. So chain one and turn. So again, I have this on here still showing the right side of our flower. Okay, so we're going to do two singles, two half double crochet, and two double crochet, all in that chain four space. So that's half of our petal. To complete the other half, we're going to come over to the next chain four space, and we're going to place two doubles, two half doubles, and two singles. And I'm crocheting over my tail as I go. All right, so there's one petal. And we're going to continue that all the way around our square. It's not really a square yet, but we're getting there. So in the next chain four space, we're going to start a new petal with two singles, two half double, and two double. Next chain four space, two double. And two half double. And two singles. So you can see the pattern here. Starting off small, getting bigger, bigger, getting smaller. So that's one petal and two petals. So continue that all the way around. Finishing the round, we're going to slip stitch to our beginning single crochet stitch. So here's how it's looking. Okay, here's the back. end off my yarn and we're going to attach the orange again. Okay, so right side facing and you can begin any location of your flower that you like. Again, I don't like to start where I end up, so I'll just start over here. We're going to slip stitch in between the petals. Okay, so here's a petal here, and here's a petal here. So there's two singles from this petal, and there's two singles from this petal. And we're just going to slip stitch in between them, right there. Chain 10, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and we're going to skip all of the stitches. We're going to skip the whole petal, and we're going to find this that space between these next two petals. So we have the two singles, and then the two singles, and we're going to slip stitch right in there just in between, right where you can see the join is here, down here in the peach, just straight up from there. Again, just chain 10 and slip. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
and I'm not chaining very tightly, um, possibly a little bit on the loose side. Okay, find that join here within the peach in between those sets of two singles. Slip stitch there. Okay, so that's going to kind of shape our petals a little bit. See how it just kind of sits on top? Alright, so we're going to continue that all the way around. To end the round, I'm going to make another slip stitch in that same space as before when I started the round. And that's it. So go ahead and end off your yarn. And to weave in these ends, I would weave in one tail along this, the back side of this orange, and then the beginning tail I would weave in along the back side of the other side, other chain. Okay. For round four, I'm going to be using the green. This color is called lettuce. And this is where we're going to turn it into a square. So we're going to begin with a standing treble stitch. Yarn over two times. And I'm going to pick a spot. And we're going to start by going in again into the space where we did the slip stitch. In between those two singles down here by the, the peachy color. So insert your hook there, and yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And now we're going to make another treble stitch in the same spot. And then we're going to chain three, and then place two more trebles in the same space. There's one and two. I'm going to chain three and we're going to come over to our petal and we're going to find those two doubles and the two doubles so you can look for this uh, slip stitch down here again and just go straight up and we're going to we're going to slip stitch right there, okay? But first, we're going to lay our chain over the petal. And we know we're going to go right around here to slip stitch. And the chain that's directly on top of that, I'm just going to come back here to the back bump and then go into that the stitch in the back on the peach and I'm going to slip stitch right there. And that's going to hold your chain across your petal. And then we're going to chain three and skip over to this next spot and we're going to do half double, chain one and half double. So we have our corner right here where the troubles are. And now we're going to repeat this again. So chain three. Find the center of our next petal right here. Lay our chain with the right side facing across the top of it. We know we're going to go into that stitch. So I'm going to eye it and I'm going to go through the back bump of this one and then the stitch we need to go into and slip stitch. Okay. Chain three. Skip over to the next space. We're going to do another corner which is treble. Another treble. chain three 
and two more trebles all worked in that same oops, all worked in that same spot Take a look here. All right. So that's the beginning of making it into a square. So we're going to repeat this going around. I'll show you this part one more time. It's probably the hardest part of the whole round. Chain three. Find the center of our petal. Then lay the chain across, go into the back bump, and find your stitch in the center, and slip stitch there. And when I'm going into the back of, of my petal, I'm going through both loops, not just the back loop of the peach. So back bump of the orange, and both loops of the peach. So we're going to repeat this all the way around. To end the round, go ahead and slip stitch to your beginning treble stitch. And we're going to end off the yarn. And on this round, we can go ahead and just crochet over our tails. We're going to be doing round five. We just finished round four. So on this round, I'll just crochet over my tails as we go. I'll be using this pretty purple color. Not sure how to say that, so I'll just show you the name. All right, so we're going to start with a slip stitch, or slip knot, excuse me. And we're going to begin in any corner with a standing half double crochet. And we're going to place two half doubles. Let's see. There's one and two. Chain two. And again, two half doubles in the same corner space. Next, place a half double in between the two treble stitches and I'm going in between, not in the top of the stitch. And next we're going to place three half double in the chain three space two times. So there's one and two, three half double in the chain three space, one half double, wait I think there's two here. Two half double here in the chain one space, and now repeat again three half doubles. Okay, it's not there. We go two and three. And do that twice. So here's three half doubles in the next chain three space. And one half double in between the two trebles of the corner. And that is one repeat right there for one side. And I'm going to go ahead and put the corner here. So two half doubles, chain two, and two half doubles. So we're going to repeat this all the way around our square. Oh, also I wanted to mention in round four, I'm right, right about eight inches going across. Okay, a little bit shy, possibly, but right about eight. So don't get too hung up on the sides. You can always add more rounds at the end if you are not coming up to 12 inches yet. 
All right, so I'm going to continue around with my half double crochet around five. Finishing round five, go ahead and slip stitch to the beginning, half double crochet, and end up your yarn. So here's how it's looking. It's probably hard to tell in this color. Uh, but my next color is going to be this pretty lavender called Wisteria Purple. Round six, we're going to be working in the back loop only. Beginning in the corner, we're going to place a slip knot on our hook. And we're going to work single crochet, chain two, and single crochet all in the corner. And next, we're going to single crochet in the back loop only all the way across. So I'm going to find the third back loop and place a single crochet there. Third back loop, single crochet. And it's going to pop up the V stitch to the front. I'm going in the third back loop and single. I realize this color is hard to see. Ending my round, I'm going to slip stitch to my beginning stitch and end up my yarn. So here's how it's looking. Here's the back. Okay, so that is round six. And let's see the measurement now. It's about nine inches. Okay, so the next round, I'm going to use the green again. The color lettuce. And this round, we're going to be making X stitches in double crochet. So to begin our round, pick any corner, start with a standing double, place another double, chain two, and two more doubles, all in that corner space. And now we're going to begin our X stitches. So we're going to skip the first stitch, go into the second, and place a double. Then we're going to go back to our skipped stitch and work a double there. And that's one X stitch. To make another one, we're going to skip our next stitch, which is right here, go into the next and make a double and then we're going to go back to that skip stitch right there and place a double there and that's the next X stitch so the you don't want to skip this one again because it's kind of pulling over to the right because I've already worked it so you want to go to the next stitch skip that one and then come over to the other one one more over. Okay. And then go back to your skipped stitch and make a double there. So we're going to repeat this all the way across. Okay, so there's my last X stitch for this side and I have 11 X stitches going across and then when I get to my corner here I'm going to do two doubles chain two and two doubles so 
So we're going to repeat this all the way around the square. My last stitch here. Slip stitch to the beginning stitch. And we'll end off the yarn. looking. It's getting big now. Let's see. So that is round seven and that's right at ten. R roughly ten inches. Once it's blocked out it'll be better. Okay. For the next round, I'm going to be using this pretty yellow again. Uh, the color is corn silk. And now we're going to be making popcorns. Super fun. Alright, so we're going to begin round eight. In any corner, I'm going to start with a standing half double, another half double, chain two, and two half doubles. And we're going to put a half double in the next stitch, half double in the next. And now we're going to chain one, and we're going to come over to our first X stitch right here, and we're going to do five half doubles in between these two stitches, not in the top of the stitch. I'm going to go in between. Okay, so one, two, three. Four and five. I'm going to take out my hook and I'm going to insert, reinsert the hook into my first half double, take my loop and put it back on my hook. I'm going to tighten down that loop a little bit with the tension and then I'm going to pull it through the first stitch. And you see how it pinches it together? and then chain one. And that's our first popcorn. And we're going to skip over to the next X stitch. Again, not going in the top of the stitch. And we're going to go all the way down in between. So there's the top of the V and then there's a little leg right there. We want to go underneath that leg so that there's nothing in between after we do our popcorn. Okay. And five half doubles. Two, three, four, and five. Again, remove your hook. I, I like to pull it up a little bit. Take it out. Reinsert your hook in that first half double crochet. Place the loop back on your hook. Tighten down your tension and pull it through your first stitch. Chain one and make another one. And we're going to make 11 of these because we have 11 X stitches going across. So this does use up a little bit extra yarn because popcorn stitches do usually take up more yarn because each stitch has a lot of stitches inside it. Okay, so chain one and then keep going. Alright, so the way I see these is it's like a little flower, like the base is the X stitch and then the popcorn is the flower part. And they look like tulips. Alright, so continue that across.
on your last two stitches place one half double crochet in each one and in the corner we're going to work two half double chain two and two half double and we would start over so here's how it's looking Not pretty So we're going to repeat this on all the sides. At the end of your round, go ahead and slip stitch to your beginning stitch and end off your yarn. So we made it through the popcorns. Aren't they pretty? I just love these. Okay, so now this should be measuring around 11 inches. Roughly 11 inches. Okay. Once we get it blocked out, it should be good. Next, I will be adding my orange back in. Couple more rounds and we're done. So we're going to begin in any corner. Start over here. And we're going to work half double crochet, chain one, and half double crochet in the corners. And for the first four uh, stitches here, we're going to work in the back loop only. And we're going to work a half double. In these four stitches going through the back loop so it leaves that little chain in the front so the half double from the row below has the V stitch and then if you turn it towards you you can find that last little bar there we're gonna work in there it's easier to see on this color the purple earlier was really hard to see okay and now you can see how that makes a really nice uh, v-stitch going across okay so now we're going to be working into these chain one spaces and we're going to be placing two half doubles in each chain one space across okay then skip over to the next chain one in between the popcorns and just place two half doubles there so skip across to the next chain one space and two half doubles. Okay. It's going to make them kind of stand apart from each other a little bit. So continue this all the way across. I'm at my last few stitches of this round or on this one edge or one side. So I've gone ahead and put my two half doubles on the opposite side of my popcorn and I have four stitches left and again we're going to rotate to the back and go through that back bump for these last four stitches and then when we get to the corner we're going to work half double in the corner space chain one and half double So here's one side. Okay. Oof, getting really big. Alright, so repeat that all the way around. Finishing my last few stitches. I'm going to end the round with a slip stitch to my beginning stitch. End of my yarn. And here we go. So that is round nine, and we have one more round. Now, depending on your size, you can always, uh, the last round we're going to do is single crochet, 
if your square is not big enough yet, you could also do, instead of single, you could do half double to make it bigger. And if your square is already too big, then maybe you don't need to do the last round. Okay? So you just kind of have to figure that out as you're going along and just keep measuring as you go. So this one now is 11 and a half, roughly. Okay. So, and then with blocking, it'll help. Okay, so now on my last round, I'm going to be using the purple again. And again, I'm just doing a round of single crochet. We're going to start in any corner with a single crochet, chain two, and single. Next, we're going to work again in that third back loop of each stitch around. So it's going to add a lot of texture again. Third back loop. And when you get to the corner, we're going to do single, chain two, single. All right. Finishing up my round, end off your yarn, look how pretty, don't need this on any longer. stretching. So once it's blocked, I think it'll be pretty good. I hope you guys like it. Next I will show you how to seam up the center of your flower. I have a small piece of yarn on my yarn needle and what I'm going to do is just pick up one stitch near the center of the flower, going through both loops. And I'm going to repeat this on each petal. Just going through both loops near the center of, the, of where the flower will be. And continue around picking up one stitch in all eight petals. And I am going down towards this the middle. Like I'm not coming over here. I want to stay close down near where the next petal is. So picking up a stitch, going around, rotating the flower, and going through both loops. And I'm back where I started. This is the last petal, and here's my beginning petal. And I'm going to take both of these tails and put them down the center towards the back. And flipping the square over, I'm just taking these two tails and pulling them tightly, closing up the center of the flower. And I will make a couple of knots to hold that down. Then to weave in your ends, I would take my hook and just go back around in a circle where those stitches are approximately just kind of eyeing it and going around in a circle 
until I'm back at the beginning and I would do the same with the other tail. And here's how it looks. Nicely sewn together. Isn't that pretty? I also have one in another color way. These are the colors I used on the square, the flower trellis square. So I use the same colors as I had in that square to make this one. So lots of options. I also have one in white. Show you that one. It's just solid white. It's kind of hard to see the white background here. This is one of my earlier ones. It doesn't look like I did my chain three or chain ten up here, excuse me, around these outer uh, petals. But you get the idea. Okay. Super fun, lots of different things you can do. And I hope you love the square. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on how to make the pinwheel flower square. Thank you for being here and crocheting with me today. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website at thepurpleponcho.com for more crochet, knit, and Tunisian crochet patterns. I hope you have a wonderful day.